In this tutorial, we're going to look at putting songs into your iPad using iTunes and an application called OnSong, which is really great for text-based chord charts and lyric sheets. So right now, I'm at a really neat site called Cordy.com. Many thanks to one of our customers who brought this to my attention. And I've gone to a song called Old Lang Syne. And I'm going to go ahead and scroll down until I see the portion of the text that I want to copy. Let me use my mouse over here and select this portion here. Go down until I get all the verses. Okay. And I'm going to copy that. All right. Now I'm going to go into my text editor. Now for Windows users, you can use the Notepad, which is the default text editor. For Mac users, I'm going to go into text edit. I'm going to go ahead and paste the text I just copied. Okay. And now I want to make sure that I'm turning this into a plain text file. This works best for the OnSong app, even though the OnSong app will also read PDFs and the Word doc files as well as image files and HTML files. If you want to be able to edit the text and change the chords, you're going to want to try to see if you can make it into a plain text uh, wherever possible. So let's go ahead within the format menu option, go ahead to plain, make plain text here or the command keys over here, as you can see. All right, convert this to talk into plain text. We'll say yes. And we're going to go ahead and save this. So let's save this as old lang sign. I'm going to go ahead and replace this since I already made a copy of this. All right. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to plug in my iPad. And I'll be back in just a second. All right. I've just plugged in my iPad. And as you can see, iTunes has automatically opened up. And it's in the process of synchronizing my iPad with my computer. Let's go over here. And within iTunes, notice that the first portion that you see is the music portion. Scroll down in this column and you'll see the device under the devices you'll see my ipad being listed here tapping on that and then i'll start to see the summary screen over here now take a look at this top menu bar right after the summary in the info you're going to see an option that says apps click on that and then you should see your apps now this this particular computer is not synced with my ipad so i'm not seeing any of my app, my apps over here but you should see your apps listed here. You can actually use any machine to transfer files over. I'm going, to go, I'm going to go ahead and scroll down and then you're going to see a portion underneath that says file sharing. This is where we want to go to move files back and forth from your computer to various specific apps on your iPad. Right here I'm going to scroll down until I get to OnSong which is right over here. Tap on that and then you're going to see that I have already some se several songs over here. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this because this was an old example. I just click the delete key. I'm going to go ahead and just show you how I'm adding this. So I'm clicking here. You see all the files that I've associated and moved into the OnSong app. Click on add over here. Let's go into documents. And you'll see my old Lang Syne text right over here. Go ahead and choose that. And that's it. Now I'm going to go into the OnSong app within the iPad. I'm going to take a couple of snapshots of the screens as I work on importing this song that I've just transferred over into the app. Okay, I've taken a couple of screenshots and I'm going to show you what it looks like on the iPad app using this photo slideshow. So here we are when you open on song, if you've never worked with it before, you'll see this default welcome text. Okay, if you notice on the top left hand corner of the menu bar, you can see a button that says songs, you're going to want to tap on that to be able to access your library and to add new songs. So go ahead and when you tap there, I want to show you the next slide, you're going to see this submenu pop out. Okay, I happen to have a lot of songs already loaded on, but if you want to add new songs, take a look. Let's see if I can move this around so you don't see that. Take a look at this plus sign at the bottom over here. That's what you're going to want to press to add new songs. Okay, so let me show you the next slide. And this is what happens next. You'll see this new submenu come up. And of course, you'll see some options here. You are going to want to go into iTunes. If you go into new song, this actually makes you, helps you to create new songs by writing in text right on the iPad. But what we want to do is we want to import the song from the file that we just moved over from iTunes. So you're going to want to tap on that option. And after you tap on that, you'll see the list of songs that we've moved over 
from iTunes itself. If you notice at the top here, there's old Lang Syne, the text file we just created by copying the text from QWERTY.com. We want to select that, and when you do, you'll see this blue import button become an option to press. So you go ahead and press that, and then the song will be imported into your library. You just What you can do is you can use these letters over here, these alphabetical letters, to very quickly scroll up and down according to the title of your song. Now, you'd think that it'd be called Auld Lang Syne because that's the name of a file, but actually what happens is OnSong will scan the first line of actual text within the file itself, and the first words are actually should old acquaintance. So what we're going to do is actually go to S. So just keep that in mind when you're looking for your songs. Keep in mind what the first words of the actual text that you copied were because OnSong is going to look for that and then give that the title. So here you go. See? Should old acquaintance. That's Those are the first words within the file. So we go ahead. We found that under S. We tap on that. And then here is your song. Now, as I said before, OnSong can work with straight PDF files, it can work with HTML files, doc files, but when you're working with plain text files, you're given a lot of interesting options. Here's what it looks like by default. But I can actually press this A, this text button over here, and suddenly I can start working with the file and start adjusting all sorts of things like header size, font size, the chord size, line spacing. I can do all these adjustments because everything's in a text file format. So for example, if I wanted to make the text larger, if it's hard to see because it's too small, I can do that. See, by moving this font size option higher, I can make it larger or smaller. I can also make the chords themselves, these little symbols on top, larger and smaller as well. I can change the font. See these different font options, right? And I change it to marker over here. So all these neat things that you can do in the program and back, we're back to our first slide again. But when you have your uh, files in text format, you can do an awful lot within OnSong to make it easier to read and to adjust the different sizes of all the uh, elements inside the file. So anyway, that's a quick look at adding and playing around with songs uh, within the OnSong app and using iTunes to move files back and forth.